हेलो एवरीवन हाउ आर यू ऑल दिस इज शिवानी हेयर वेलकम टू माय चैनल शिवानी क्रिएशंस आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू टुडे दिस ब्यूटीफुल प्रोजेक्ट व्हिच इज मेड यूजिंग पेपर क्विलिंग स्ट्रिप एंड दिस इज वॉल हैंगिंग क्विलिंग क्लॉक एंड दिस इज सुपर डुपर इजी टू मेक आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ फ्लावर्स टुडे सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फॉर दिस वी नीड सम 3 एमएम क्विलिंग स्ट्रिप्स पंच बॉर्डर डिजाइन एनी बटरफ्लाई पंच हाफ कट पर्ल पेपर डॉयली इन ब्लैक कलर एम डी एफ क्लॉक डायल माउंट बोर्डर कार्डबोर्ड क्विलिंग टूल सीजर लिक्विड ग्लू पैटर्न पेपर एंड क्विलिंग मोल्ड सो आई एम स्टार्टिंग विथ माई फर्स्ट फ्लावर आई हैव ऑलरेडी प्रिपेयर थ्री पेटल्स एंड आई एम गोइंग टू मेक वन मोर पेटल सो हेयर आई एम टेकिंग वन फोर्थ स्ट्रिप ऑफ व्हाइट एंड हाफ स्ट्रिप ऑफ पिंक कलर Just curl it from the top and create four loops in increasing order. Then make two more loops using pink strip. Cut excess strip. Just secure the end. And now I'm going to connect these four petals with each other. Pinch from the top and create a leaf kind of shape. Then I'm wrapping this whole petal using pink color strip. so it's done now i have already prepared one semi circle using yellow strip so again i'm taking one strip of yellow color and making one semi circle or bended leaf shape so we need two bended leaves i am adding these two leaves on left and right sides and wrapping this whole petal using yellow color strip so petal is ready in the same way we need total 7 petals now for the center of the flower i am taking one fourth strip of pink color and i am making tight coil dome this dome is made using two strips of pink color and i am going to add these small domes around this big dome and the center is ready now here i am taking one paper circle which is having 5 cm diameter this paper is having 150 gsm thickness and now i'm just making one ring like this connect this ring so you will get cone kind of shape then i will start arranging my petals one by one 
so in this way you can create 3d flowers without using silicone glue So flower is dried now I am adding my flower center and this is done I am just loving this flower very much now for the second flower we are going to start with the petal first and I am taking half strip of yellow color and making one teardrop shape in the same way I have created two more teardrop using one fourth strip of pink color now I am joining three petals together and wrapping this whole petal using half strip of yellow and one fourth strip of pink color And this is done so I'm using total seven petals and now I'm taking this four centimeter diameter circle and again making a cone like we did before and I will add my petals like this then for the center of the flower I am taking the 7 mm off white color strip and I am creating small fringes so the fringe strip is ready now take your quilling tool and start rolling it and make a fringe flower open the fringes add glue and connect in the center of the flower and then on the top I am adding one medium size half cut pearl and our beautiful flower is ready now this is our third flower and this is very unique can you see the depth inside the petal and it's very easy to make so here I am taking one pen and I am taking half strip of white color just wrapping the strip around the pen and creating a ring then I am making one leaf shape like this taking one piece of yellow color paper and sticking this leaf on top of yellow paper then in one corner I am adhering one tight coil dome which is made using one fourth strip of pink color allow it to dry for some time till that I am taking this 3 cm diameter paper and I am creating a cone again like this and now I will 
fussy cut the excess paper around this petal so here I am using total 8 petals for my one flower now I will start arranging these petals For the center of the flower, I am taking two strips of yellow color and I have created one tight coil dome. So I am adding the dome in the center and our beautiful flower is ready. Now this is small tiny filler flower. For this I am taking half strip of light pink color and I am making one teardrop shape. I will join five petals together and adding half cut pearl in the center. So we need total 4 these type of flowers. Now I am starting with the leaf. For this I am taking half strip of light green and one fourth strip of dark green color. Make a leaf shape. Then take one fourth strip of dark green color, fold it from center, add little glue and add little glue on the starting and arrange your leaves one by one like this. So we need 5 these type of leaves and for these small leaves I am taking half strip of sap green color and one fourth strip of dark green color. Again make a leaf shape and this time directly join 3 petals together. So we need 4 these type of leaves. Now I am showing you how to make scrolls. So here I am taking three light green color strips which are one fourth in length just arranging it together and taking two dark green one fourth strips just fold this bunch from center take your rounded tweezer and make a coil then open the coil and you will get the beautiful scroll cut excess strips and just secure the end in this way you can create scrolls for other scrolls I have used sap green and dark green colors now here I am taking mount board piece which is 24 by 24 centimeter and I am decorating it using this pattern paper which is from craft treat and you can also use cardboard piece instead of mount board so I'm just adding lots of glue and then I'm going to connect my pattern paper burnish it very well there should be no air bubble Now here I am taking this beautiful punched border. This border is by Dress My Craft and I am using subtle colors matching to my base color because I want to highlight my flowers more than anything else. But just for a little glimmer look I am using gold with the maroon. Now here I am taking this 13 cm diameter MDF clock base and I am sticking it on right corner. I have given all the links in description box if you want to purchase anything. Eyeball the center marking 
for 12 and 6 and then connect it. Now I am starting with the arrangement of my quilling flowers. So roughly I am arranging everything. So first I am going to add my center big flower. Then I am taking these two black color paper doilies and adding on left and right sides of center flower and then I will add my remaining flowers. Then here I have these beautiful scroll die cutouts so I am just arranging it around my flowers. If you don't have these you can skip this step this is not at all compulsory. And then I am adding my leaves and scrolls. So just stick all the scrolls and it's ready. So it's done now. I'm adding little glue around my MDF clock base and I'm going to connect pink and golden color ball chains around it just to give little glimmer look. You can also add half cut pearls around it, small size pearls it should be or you can make any design using 3d outliners or you can keep it as it is And I have this beautiful butterfly cut out and I'm adding this butterfly in upper corner then here I have this Nuvo enamel dots so I'm just creating some dots here and there it 
gives us very nice pearly look you can also stick different sizes of pearls here and there or you can use 3D outliner to make pearls and it looks very nice so the beautiful quilt wall clock is ready now you just need to fix the hands in the center and on back side add your machine and just glass frame it so it's ready to decorate your beautiful wall so my project is done for today hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos and don't forget to click on bell icon for the latest updates thanks for watching see you next time bye